Hey guys, my name is Tanya. I'm Tim. And welcome to Timu Tuesday. We are a little bit of out of sorts. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but just uh, hang on for the ride. We just got home. We went to the Toby Mac concert uh, last night, as a matter of fact. <laughs> And it was up in Bossier City, yep. Shreveport, Louisiana area, which is about five and a half hours. Roughly, yeah. Yeah, but of course we had to stop and eat at Cracker Barrel, so <laughs> I had to get my egg sandwich. But uh, so that took us a little bit longer. But it's Monday, and this comes out tomorrow, so we're doing this video Monday night. So hopefully uh, we don't forget anything. No. I'm gonna scope out our concert shirts that yeah. we got though. This is the one I got. This one I got. Got the Toby Mac down the sleeve. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Yep. Concert was really, really good. They had like five different artists, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. So super good. Highly recommend his Hit Deeps tour exactly. if you get a chance to go. Uh, thank you to everybody who said that they were unsubscribed and resubscribed to the channel. I have no idea what is going on with YouTube. Uh, but we appreciate it if you check and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I have no idea what's right. happening. Uh, we are trying to get to 50K this year. We're at a little over 13. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Yeah, but it's a good goal, though. It's a great goal. And I can see my matrix on YouTube. And only half of the people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. It's like half and half. So if you just hit the subscribe button, we appreciate it a lot. All of our Timu videos are unsponsored, so yeah. we pay for everything that we get. And y'all watching our videos and subscribing uh, helps us buy more products uh, to show y'all as well. So are you ready? I'm ready. Me too. Y'all know Mardi Gras is almost here. If you watch our channel on the regular, then you know. Uh, next, not, look, I'm going to say this weekend. Normally, I would say next weekend. Tim and I have a little bit of debate on how that goes. <laughs> but uh, Sunday, how's that? Sunday is supposed to be the puppy parade. So as long as it doesn't rain, so cross your fingers for us that we do not have rain because I'm going to be so sad if we do not get to do this puppy parade. Yeah. I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't happen, but I got a few more uh, small things that came in for Tobias and for uh, what I'm going to need for him that day. So these are all items that I found on there. He's got, I bought him like this little stroller, a uh, dog stroller that almost looks like a carriage. Y'all are gonna see it as long as there's no rain. I paid $1.79 for this and then I got a 22 cent price adjustment. And this is, this is, there's a bunch of these on Timu, but I only bought one. You can buy them in like a three or four pack, I think. But this is just like a small little pad like a little blanket thing that this is going to fit actually perfectly in his carriage so that he's not on this. I know he's a big, I'm a big baby. <laughs> he's a big baby. So that he has something soft to lay on and it's got little puppy paws on it. So I got this for him for that. And then I'm just going to show you all this stuff real quick. I bought him a, paid a dollar 16 for this and he's going to need this because it's a little, it's a little pop-up water bowl, a little portable pop-up water bowl. And I got it because it has like a little day ring on there. And so I can hang it from his buggy. I got stuff that I could hang from the buggy so that I don't have to like keep it inside of his buggy or anything like that. Got that. And then you want to see his bow tie? <laughs> I got his bow tie in. I paid $4.48 and then I got a 47 cent price adjustment. This is stinking adorable. I cannot wait. He's gonna look like such a handsome little man because he is handsome. He's my baby. But look at it. It's, it's like a little suit tie. Look at it. It's gonna be like his little bow tie. Of course we had to get green because Mardi Gras colors are green, yeah. purple, and gold. So had to get him green. And I had to get all this stuff green, if you notice his uh, dog bowl's green. And then we had to buy new little uh, waste bags, you know. They carry all these on there, so if you walk your dogs a lot or whatever, you can buy these, like, in, in a lot. And buy, like, 20 or 50. I mean, you can get a lot. I just bought this one because I don't take my dogs out that often, to be honest. And when I do, it's That's not... That's an automatic opener. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> it's not that often. So I paid $2.44 for this and then got a $0.05 cent price adjustment, but this is just the little holder. 
And it came with two bags, and these little bags have little dog bones on them. I thought they were cute. But, of course, we got green again. And I thought this was pretty cool, so I don't have to, like, uh, carry around his poop bag. I mean, I don't want to carry that around. So, I paid $1.48 for this, and got a $0.62 cent price adjustment. And how convenient is this little thing? So, it looks like a dog bone. It also hangs from, it'll hang from the buggy. But you t once you tie your bag up, then you put the little knot through here and slide it down. And then this will hold your poo bags until you can get to a garbage can. How great. I mean, how, that is so genius. Super cute. And I had to get it. So that's all Tobias's stuff for this weekend. Hopefully no rain. So that's everything you need to get for his uh, stuff? You have nothing else coming or anything like that? That's everything? No, that's not okay. everything. And it better it better be here before Sunday. I don't know if it will be or not. Y'all won't be able to see it in a haul. But, I mean, you'll be able to see it in the puppy parade. If yeah, it gets so. here in time, which I'm really hoping that it does. Hopefully. I'm going to do two of these in one here. Um, these are... One of these I paid three eighteen and got a forty cent price adjustment, but there's three sheets, and the other one was a dollar seventy. But what these are is conversion. So funny. What? The conversion charts. Look, I ask Siri all the time. I just, I just ask her. But the thing is, though, if I'm out, you know, there's it always never yeah. fails that you might not be able to find your, but your standard or metric conversion chart. So basically, if you have, you know, need a seven sixteenth bolt you know usually it's a five eighth standard but you can't find your five eighths it's a 16 millimeter so it's simply asking Siri I can just look up my sheet yeah. here and it's a sticky so it actually peels I can stick it to the top of the, the socket okay case and everything oh yeah that's that'll yeah. be nice then and same I got you know this I got two different ones um one's gonna be for like the house the other one's for work and stuff keep everything together but yeah so I thought it was a nice little organizational easy it is make things easy <laughs> it is you use that kind of thing way more often than me yeah and so siri works great for me because <laughs> i don't use it that often at all yeah. i got these for the for myself for the parade so i paid a dollar 19 for these these are so stinking cute they're a pair of earrings that i'm going to be wearing with my shirt and they are little dogs they're acrylic, little acrylic dogs that dangle, and they have all the Mardi Gras colors on them. So you probably can't see them that well right this minute, but y'all know I'll put a picture or a video in so that you can see them up close and personal. They're not overly large, which is good, but I mean, these are perfect for the puppy yeah, parade. Definitely. So how stinking cute are these? I know I'm going to have people ask me, where'd you get those? Yep. Guaranteed. So cute. Easily. Yeah. So we'll continue on with the stickers for, you know, being that, getting old, I can't see half the time. No, y'all don't even know how uh, organized he is when it comes to stuff. It's so funny. Not me, but he, he totally is. Well, yeah, on a socket, uh, well, let's start off, on both of them, I paid $1.78 for each of these. Um, and basically what they are, um, I got one for the quarter inch and I got one for the three eighths. But there are the labels on your sockets. And sometimes it's really hard to see what number you're grabbing, especially if it's in a bag or just sitting out and you need to go grab it again. Yeah. This oh, so you actually stick them on it? On it. On it. Oh, and yeah, because some of those are hard to they're see. They're very you're hard right. to see, especially if you're out in the sun, too, and everything. It's, <sighs> you have the angle just right or they're yeah. worn down or whatever. And, and you're outside in yep. the sun a lot. Exactly. So, for, you know, for $1.78 a sheet, um, I got kind of confused. I was trying to figure out what the label name said on the back. It was somebody used some type of... Uh, no, that's yeah. just their name, Yeah, I think. That's like the backing paper of their name or whatever. So, Instead of 3M, it's right. whatever that is, yeah. So, yeah, for $1.78 a sheet, um, I think there's a total of... Oh, it actually doesn't say. Mm -hmm. uh, she's 60, 60 um, stickers here. The oh, cover is probably every size, then. Yep. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, 60 on both of them. If you're not buying your socks from Timu, I don't know what to tell you because I buy all of my my socks from Timu 
not probably not Tim's. I don't know if he's ever tried to buy mm -hmm. any from there. I the little ankle socks, absolutely love them. They are extremely cheap, uh, and so even if they wear out in like six months, it's still cheaper because this was, I think this is a ten pack, a ten pack of ankle socks for a buck seventy eight. You're not getting that anywhere. Nowhere. They also have, yeah, they also have the um, the socks, like if you wear ballet flats and so you just want the ones that just barely cover your toe up to your ankle, they have those as well. And they come with like the little uh, rubber on the back of them so they're, they're no slip on the back. I have some of those as well. Highly recommend those too. But these are just like one pair of each color. And it has like every color you could imagine. The orange, yellow, black, blue, red, green, white, gray, another pair of black. So yeah, oh, yeah. a buck, I, I 78. Never, I never looked at You've never looked at the men's? Yeah, so I might yeah. you know, check it out just to see. Love these, and fill them. I love oh, yeah. uh, little bitty thin socks for mm -hmm. the uh, summer here. I don't, I don't like thick socks in my sneakers, so. No. Love these. Time to go through the drawer and throw away a bunch of socks. Alright, I paid three ninety nine for this and got a twenty cent price adjustment. And yes, I've bought quite a few of these. You already made fun of me already I when did. I was looking at it. I said, "Is that another one?" <laughs> when he took it out of the package, he's like, "But it's smaller." Exactly. <laughs> It's it's more compact, but it's another one of the little uh, <laughs> USB work lights. The only difference between this one and the other one, yes, there is a difference. It doesn't have the top light. Um, does it have the front light? It does have the little front oh, light on there. Yeah. Um, it is magnetic, but it's smaller and compact. Actually, that's probably the one I should have probably got for you for your um, for my nails. Nail. No, it's I not like, as bright. It's as not as either. bright as the other one. But so. it could be the batteries going dead too. So I haven't charged it up yet. I mean, it could. Yeah. I like the one he got me though. So, because I can use it for work too. So, I mean, you could even have it for like a whore, you know, a oh haunted house. <laughs> I like our light in the uh, hotel hallway, right? <laughs> so funny. I told him, I said, the uh, apparitions followed us to the dang hotel room because in the whole uh, hallway where our room was, one light out of probably 20 was flickering like a strobe light and guess where it was located? Directly outside of our door. Imagine that. All right, guess what? I bought some underwear. I bought some more underwear. So I like the cotton underwear that I've been getting. I did buy this uh, slick pair that I did not like. These look like they were cotton, so we're hoping that they are. I paid $4.74 for these. And I think there's four pair in here. And I looked at them and they do look a little bit big. I bought the size like uh, US sizing, which on there it shows like a 14. So that's what I bought. But they look a little bit big. They're just like high brief uh, cotton. Well, let's see. Let's make sure they're cotton. Yeah, they're 95% cotton, 5% spandex. So to get cotton underwear from Timu, I'm pretty shocked. And for a buck a pair, definitely yeah. worth it. That's a good buy as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So definitely. I'll be getting more of these if I like them a lot, if they're super comfortable. Yeah, this is one of these special deals that popped up on mine. Um, <laughs> I haven't been getting many of those. I got this for 90 cents. I've been getting cents. this stupid rebate crap. I don't want a rebate thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't my, like that. That's been popping up a lot. I just ignore it. Yeah, me too. I don't like yeah. it. I don't like the rebate thing. But I paid 90 cents for this, and this is actually supposed to be, it says, Lou Liffle? <laughs> 243, um, but it's the blue thread locker. Um, it's not like, um, i trying to remember what the actual name of the, uh, the Loctite. Loctite, yeah. Yep. It's supposed to be like Loctite. It, exactly. So for 90 cents, I said, I'd definitely give it a shot, especially yeah. the blue, because it's supposed to be the breakable. Breakaway style, so it doesn't secure it fully, but still secure it. Yeah, so it. you're not killing yourself yeah. trying to get it undone again? Exactly. Yeah. So, 90 I cents, gotcha. definitely worth it, I think. Why not try it? Exactly. So, we were talking about socks a second ago and how much I love socks. Well, I don't love it when socks get lost. And so, we always have, like, this little pile 
of socks that are missing its mate. Well, I came across, and I don't, maybe Timu was listening to me. I don't know. <laughs> I think it does. I feel like it listens to me all the time. So I yeah. talk about something that pops up on my feed. Yeah, I had a couple things that we and you talked about. It showed up in my feed. I'm like, wait a so minute. So crazy. So I was probably complaining about it. I don't know. But it always ends up on my dresser. And so I'm constantly moving this pile of socks. Well, then I, I saw this thing uh, on there. And it's so stinking cute. We put it together already so that you didn't have to uh, watch how painful it was for us to put yeah. this together. It really wasn't. But, you know, no. we had to go back and look at the picture. But here it is. So I'm going to hang this next to the dresser. How cute is that? Lost socks seeking soulmates. It's adorable. <laughs> and then the socks, of course, will go in there. Yep. And so they're not hanging or sitting around on my dang dresser. I'm going to hang this right next to my dresser. And that's where it's going to go. There I think go. this is stinking cute. Oh, I paid four seventy four for this. Not bad. No. Well, I did look, though, and it's actually $8 today. Uh, so, I might have got it on one of those deal things. I'm not sure. I might have had it in my cart, and then it said, we'll give it to you for less or whatever. So, I like it, though. I think it's worth it. It's cheesy. I mean, this is like a uh, light cardboard, you know? Well, it's it's not real wood. It's that MDF or whatever you call it. But, yeah, it's still cute. I like it. It'll last. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Especially inside and everything. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's adorable. All right, I paid a dollar eighty-six for these, and it's just something that popped up on my feed. I said, "Oh, let's give it a shot." But what? It, and it looks kind of weird, really. But it looks very weird. <laughs> it's actually like a hand finger exercise thing. It actually you can adjust it to be either thirteen pound tension, seventeen pound tension, or twenty one pound tension. And you basically just put it in your fingers. On your fingers as best as you can. Each one goes in the hole and then it wraps around your wrist to where you can and you sit there and it gives you the strength you know trying to strengthen your fingers and your hands back up. So I guess it'll be really good for somebody too with you know who's got arthritis or any joint yeah. joint pain. This would definitely help try to strengthen your hands up mm -hmm. and stretch out those yep. ligaments and stuff so exactly he got a hand injury not too long ago and he's still nursing it back to health yep. so hopefully it'll help with that definitely i got a couple other things coming i was gonna keep in my truck and all that stuff just to kind of you know, i mean try. you're yeah. in your truck a lot driving so yep. couldn't hurt nope okay we're gonna test this out and see if it actually says <laughs> it uh it does what it says it does what it says <laughs> So this is supposed to be, y'all know where we live in South Mississippi. And so hurricanes are a thing here. Uh, and this is supposed to be water resistant and fire resistant. I have a hard time believing it because it's not hard sided. It's a soft sided case. I paid $4.49 for this. And yeah, it is like a document holder. And like I said, it is soft-sided, so it's supposed to be lockable as well. It has this like little lock on the side of it. Yeah, I guess you can, I don't know, put a code on there or something. Did you get the, um, like the manual or something like that inside? It might, there might be a manual yeah. when I bought it. Sometimes it pulls, it pulls up that PDF yep. thing. But here's like, uh, you can put like your passports or whatever. That's what the picture shows on this side. And then like any credit cards or whatever on that one. Don't even say it. He's gonna, he's trying to say because I still haven't got my passport. So this is for some more uh, documents or whatever. And then this one too. And then it has the deep uh, like well for the bottom. But I just have a really hard time believing that this is fireproof. Maybe it's fire retardant. I don't know. I'm going to take a lighter to it, though, and I'll let you all know. See if it uh, starts to burn it or anything. Yeah. And then I'm going to pour some water on it, too, and see if it... it leaks through. Leaks through. But, uh, yeah, this is going to come to a video near you because I'm going to record it. <laughs> <laughs> and see if it actually works like they say. Here's the bag. I put it in the sink. And I'm going to run water over the top of it. 
and then we'll see if it gets wet on the inside. I'm not even going to try the fire part if it leaks. I mean, there's no point. So, here we go. I see water soaking into something. Isn't it disappearing, or do you think it's going over the edge? Yeah, it looks like it's disappearing. That's what it looks like to me. All right. Where's the zipper? You want to unzip it? See if it's wet on the inside? I'm betting it is. Didn't get wet on the inside? No. Is that wet? Nope. Oh, goodness. It's only wet from where Your you drip. opened yeah, it. Yeah, from, from the, the drip. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to sit it outside and let it dry out and then try to catch it on fire. Okay, let's try some fire. Oh, is it get? Oh, it guess it. what? It burn it. Not fireproof. So, it can get wet. <laughs> Definitely not fireproof. So, we'll be returning this saying that it does not function the way the ad says. So, this is my last item. We actually mentioned this in our last one about having something deep filming. Oh, yeah. I can't so, wait for this. I've been looking at these for a while. Was. I got paid nineteen twenty two for this, which is... We spent a lot. We don't normally spend that much on stuff. Nope. But compared to the original, the uh, ones that you see on all your social media sites and everything, they usually go for between 90 to 140 Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, it's... Came with all the instruction manuals, yep. it looks like. What it is is actually a Pilates bar kit yeah so there's like a bunch of these um videos on like youtube like uh instructional videos on youtube that do like different exercise combinations and stuff with these okay the trainer the handles themselves are actually really heavy heavy duty nice so that's into the center so basically you have your main bar there's nothing we probably should put together first. We're not pros. <laughs> no. We're not pros at this. We're not pros at anything. But as you can tell, that's actually metal too. That's, yeah. You know. Screwing into. And as you can see, as you can feel, the handle is actually foam. Oh, it's nice foam too. Yeah. It's not cheesy at all. So like, I can't it, feel any, squeezing it, I can't feel any metal no. in it. So then it comes with three different tension. Mm -hmm. It has all the, the clasps right. for the bars. So you have a 20 pound, 40 pound, and a 30 pound. I think I could have said that in order, but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but they are uh, they attached to the, your clasp. Uh, decent metal uh, D rings, which yeah. is good. Don't get me in the air. I might. <laughs> Better look out. Does it go like this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then, hold that. You have the door jam, which will fit inside your, you know, your door itself. And then you have your foot style that goes on your feet. Mm -hmm. So you can like stand and put your feet in the pads and then do right. like curls and stuff with the bar or above your head. Or you can reverse it and be standing on the bar and use the grips in this here to do your curls that way. But there's one for each mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. It's got, you know, it's actually big enough. Uh, yeah, it's good size. Stretch yeah. for, um, any, you know, if you're wearing shoes or not wearing shoes, you know, it's yeah. nice. And so we'll definitely give it a run. Yeah. See that's for 1922. Yeah, see if we like it or not. I'll insert Tons. a video, not a video of us doing it <laughs> because <laughs> we are not pros yet. Uh, but I will insert a video real quick just to show you guys uh, some of, I'll grab some like of these exercises off of YouTube 
and then I'll put it in this video so that you can see what I'm talking about, what this bar actually does. Yeah, so it that you can like see. a nice travel bag too, so if you want to travel with it, especially if you do a lot of traveling. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this actually. Oh, yes. It's pretty cool. It's good, not even just for, um, you know, weight training or you know, stretch training and stuff like that, it's good for, you know, stretching your joints out. Yeah, and, mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're not spring chickens anymore. Definitely not. Definitely not. I'm in my 50s now. That's why we have a massage chair. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we have a massage chair. If y'all don't have one, I know they're a little spendy, but I'm telling you, they last a long time and worth every penny. Yes. Looking forward, I want you to let your eye gaze go with the bar, back through to center, and twist it over to the other side. And you're going to press your right foot away and then slowly pull back in. Exhale, left foot comes out and slowly in. You can see why you have to hold onto the bar. So I want you to make sure your elbows stay glued off your shoulders, take an inhale in. Exhale, lift that right leg up to the ceiling and then slowly lower down. So we exhale, lift, inhale, lower. All right, I did get one more thing. We've been trying to let it charge. Hopefully it's charged to where I can show it to you. Uh, yeah, hold on a second, I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, so this is my last item. It has zero charge. We've been letting it charge for a little bit, but it's still not enough to where it'll run on its own. If y'all remember, I was super jealous when Tim bought his little like vaporizer type thing that you put the smelly oils in and it smells so good. So I had to get on there and find my own. This one's called the Galaxy Humidifier and it came, it has a little stand too that he already uh, built for me. I paid $10.83 for this. It's never went on sale. I'm pretty sure it's still $10.83. Yeah. You don't get price adjustments on these little boogers, but it's super cute, comes with its own stand. It does have, this one looks like Saturn. Hopefully you can see it. If not, I'll hold it up a little bit, but it has, it does have the um, smoke or vapor, whatever you want to call it, that comes out the top and it has multiple different colors. So it changes like, uh, it was like five or six different colors. Yeah, roughly, yeah. yeah. Different shades of it for sure. Yeah, but we're gonna have to insert a video so that you can see it, but there it is. It's pretty good size. It's mm -hmm. a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, the colors are really pretty. If it's plugged in, we can see everything but it just doesn't have enough charge to do it on its own yet. I'm hoping that's what it is. Yeah. Um, we're going to let it charge all night long. And if tomorrow, if it doesn't do right, then it's going back. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll order another one still because <laughs> it's really cool. I like it a lot. But yeah, I will insert a video of this for you guys so that you can see it in action. Okay, so we have it plugged in, but this is what it looks like. This is the stationary light that it has. And then if you push the next button, then it starts just changing all the colors on its own. Oops, there's the little vapor that comes out with this good smelly stuff. And you can actually click it one more time if you just like one of the lights. Uh, like if green or something was your favorite color and you just wanted it stationary on the green, you can choose the color to leave it on as well. But I will insert in here whether or not it worked after I charged it all night. I'm crossing my fingers that it does because I love it. I think it's super cute. All right, guys, that's everything that we have to show you today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not mm -hmm. and double check. Make sure they didn't kick you off like they have other people. <laughs> We hope you all have a great week coming up. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.